Amos, welcome to the Friday show. It's another lovely. Ooh, look who it is! It's R&B legend Chris Brown. What a handsome fa- oh, No, wait, no, no, hang on a minute. I didn't do nothing. I haven't done nothing. Put down the umbrella. Oh, no. Oh, fuck it, Ella, 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 Ella. Run, Lionel. Yes, it's the Friday show coming live from London town. This week over on HolyMoly.com, we caught up with BAFTA winner Noel Clark, who put down his statue to talk about spanking women's bare buttocks while sexually aroused. I'll yeah. just spank her if she doesn't <laughs> We also went along to the BAFTAs. We couldn't get in, couldn't speak to a celebrity, but we went anyway. We're that good. Anyway, love is in the air, and Matt has got an erection. Yes, it's the Friday Show! Hello and welcome to the Holy Moly office. Valentine's Day is tomorrow. Romance is in the air, no more so than in the Holy Moly office. In fact, I'm actually organising our very own Valentine's party for tomorrow night. I've got the balloons here. Everyone is dead excited, aren't we, guys? Hmm, only a bit left. Never mind, accidents happen. Thankfully, I've got a spare. <laughs> right, party's over, never mind. Still, at least Valentine's Day isn't as bad for me as it is for Peaches Geldof. Ah, huh, another one. <laughs> yes, Peaches Geldof won't be having much fun this Valentine's Day as she's divorced her husband, Max Drummy, after only six months of marriage. That is staggering. I mean, who saw that coming? We did! Oh yeah, the, the entire world. Actually, good that we all unified there as one planet to speak in English, otherwise that would have made no sense. Apparently the break was amicable and the couple split after much deep soul searching. Now rather exclusively I've been doing some soul searching as well and I've actually managed to track down Peach's Geldof's soul. It's been kept inside this little box. Let's see its side of the story. Me 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 I think it's dead. One of the biggest problems Peaches now faces is what to do with her Max tattoo. Tattoos with someone's name on can be a big mistake as Peaches learnt nothing from her celebrity counterparts. After all, Paris Hilton came to regret having Nick Carter's name tattooed on her ass. Oh, hi honey, I was just thinking about you. Really? Yeah, I was wiping my ass. Tommy Lee had to contend with removing a tattoo reading Pamela from his penis and Angelina Jolie had to remove her tasteful Billy Bob tattoo after their divorce and had it replaced with a geophysical coordinate of the birthplaces of all six of her children. Now, if Angelina continues to adopt and give birth at the rate she currently is doing, scientists predict that by 2019, if she has more tattoos, she'll ultimately resemble her own silhouette. Short of undergoing painful and expensive laser removal surgery, Peach's best bet is to find herself a new partner called Max. Yeah, there are loads she could date Max Beasley, Max Clifford, Max Mosley, Hitler. Whoa, hush Austin, you'll get us into trouble. Now, all I can say is thank God that Peaches and Matt didn't have a baby, because after all, a child can complicate things, can't it, Eddie? Yes, is what Eddie Murphy would say in a variety of hilarious voices because this week he's finally been ordered to cough up £35,000 a month in child benefit for the next 18 years. This is of course for the baby that he had with Mel B. Now we know why they call her Scary Spice because she will drain you of all of your cash, 7 million in fact, over the next 18 years. This is bad news for Eddie but even worse news for cinema goers who will probably be subjected to even more shit fat suit based movies where Eddie plays all of the characters. How egotistical do you have to be to only appear on screen with other characters played by you? It's terrible, isn't it, Grandpa? Yes, it is shockingly cheap and self-indulgent. I agree, and I bet little sis does as well, don't you, little sis? Yeah, you've got to be a total bellend to do that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, a complete bellend. Right, if you're looking for a rocky relationship this week, look no further than Rihanna and Chris Brown. Only a few weeks after it was speculated that Rihanna may be getting married to her fella, after sightings of a blinktastic wedding ring, Chris Brown has been arrested for allegedly assaulting his girlfriend. 
The couple were meant to perform at the Grammys, but the assault happened somewhere between a pre-Grammys party and the awards themselves. According to a police report, somewhere in between, Chris attacked Rihanna with his fists and left her with a bloody nose and split lip. So, Rihanna, on behalf of Holy Moly, get well soon. So there's not much romance in the world of celebrity. It reminds me of that Black Eyed Peas song. My home, my home, my home, my home. No, no, not that one. Uh, I mean, where is the love? And where is the love? I think celebrities need a little bit of love and kindness at this time of year. I think we should send them some cards. And in fact, if you're thinking of sending your favourite celebrity a card this year, get ready for our weekly make with Mr Holy Moly. Hello, thanks, mate. Yes, it's Valentine's Day tomorrow, and we're going to help you make a lovely Valentine's card. Um, here's one we prepared earlier. A lovely little heart and happy Valentine's Day with a message inside for the one you love. All you need to do this uh, is, a, is a piece of paper or a nice card and a pen. So we shall start by folding our card in half. I hope you're following this at home. And we'll write our message to it, as, as is to Johnny Burrell. To Johnny. Love. Holy. Moly. Kiss, kiss. Let's colour it in, colour it in nicely. Don't go over the edges. Oh, Johnny's gonna like this. Nearly done, looking good. Just one last thing. <sighs> Perfect. Ah, lovely. That's guaranteed to put a smile on any celebrity's face. And if you're thinking, hey, I don't know which celebrity to send a card like that to, here are some of our suggestions. There you go, have fun making your cards. Right, I will see you next week at the same time for the Friday show. And don't forget that on holymoly.com, every single day, there's loads more video stuff. So make sure you watch that. See you next week. Bye-bye.